Hello beautifuls! Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for continuing to stay with me. I have been away for a while. Actually, I'll do all of that at the end of the video to be fair. Uh, Just because love is in the head. No lie. But yeah, this is a bit of a random okay, it's not a random video. This is just a talking video. I have a few products to show you that I've been loving and some other business that I wanted to talk about and I just thought to put it all in one video just for you guys okay first I have um, some beautiful products by Flora and Curl they're a new UK brand and they're launching soon they've actually uh, established quite a following on Instagram so far which I believe is really good because obviously they're a new brand they haven't fully launched officially yet and they're already getting a lot of you know good reviews good um, attention and they actually deserve the ratings because they're actually really good so first I want to talk about the hydration mist which when I had my hair out in the beginning of summertime when we actually were experiencing some good weather I had like my twist outs my braid out day two day three of the braid out it can get a lot it can get really crunchy can get really dry because of the heat and stuff it's just a mist that I just put all over my hair I can, I can spit it on this hair now like like can you see that mist <laughs> it feels so good like and it smells really good as well it's got um aloe vera organic rose flower water white jasmine and garden lavender and you can use it as a daily moisturizing spray if you would like um or a refreshing spritz as i've been using it for your twist outs your braid outs also with the ingredients I, I, as i keep loving our uk um brands they're actually doing bits tells you what they are scientifically and what they are in english in brackets well not okay not in english obviously it's english but like <laughs> in like normal like colloquial terms love this one because i've just been using it a lot just 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 to refresh just to freshen up everything and oh this is the one that i have to have to have to have to have to highlight <laughs> the one that i have to highlight this is the nourish me flower garden hair butter when i saw it i was like oh this is such a tiny little cute bottle um this is it's a butter and that's why I'm saying I can I haven't used hair butters in ages like I don't know what I've been doing because I just believed obviously because of my hair for my my mixed textures um type 4 mainly yeah and my hair is really dense as well so what I really need to, to combat dryness combat all of that I'm thinking you know liquids liquid based products liquid based products always you know going for the liquids brace going for the liquid based products but who told me oh my goodness hair butter I especially this one I don't know about others I'm gonna start trying but hair butters why did I can't count it out of my routine I don't know but this is being incorporated straight back in and it has little beads which at first when I put it in my hair to do like a twist out it was like bits and I was like oh my goodness is it gonna be like bits in my hair but it actually melts away no bits and that's what it does in the hair as well it melts away it doesn't there aren't bits when there isn't residue or anything like that and it feels so soft and buttery not oily not too greasy not heavy at all but just just right and it smells so gorgeous as well which that's why i love flora and curl um products so far and i will be purchasing and when they officially launch I will let you guys know of course and then obviously you can be sure to enjoy just like I'm enjoying because they they really mm, love so me. the next product I wanted to talk about uh, was is from Hokma Wise oh look isn't this looking gorgeous doesn't this just look so gorgeous oh my goodness ladies ladies this looks gorgeous doesn't it this packaging is just wow luxury top quality and the product itself is top quality so I met them at the uh, Black History Festival in Manchester lovely beautiful ladies their manes are as big and thick as mine not lying they've been working on their own their their brand and their products for um, a while and now they are up and running you can, go, you can find them on their website I'll leave all the links to the in I'll leave their links in the description box below 
Um, so this is the deep tr deep treatment conditioner that they gave me. It contains milk, intensive care for dry hair, restores moisture and fights the ends and hair damage. This is not just for natural hair, this is for relaxed hair and everything. The only thing that is a bit mm, is that it's got alcohol so if you're really like an all natural natural um, you might not want to be with this but the flora and curl one is all natural. Sorry I forgot to say oh, what plant ugh. <laughs> they state it to be 100% plant powered for dry textured hair even on the butter I don't see much going on maybe just preservatives if that and um, yeah I don't even know if that's I don't I don't think that's preservatives I think this is natural as well natural components sunflower butter so these are natural but this one not this one's not natural this one it's got alcohol basically okay 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 Okay, but I do love it. I have been incorporating it into my routine. What I would do is I have the sulfate free Swish shampoo by Afrocentrics and I use that first and then I'll use this as not a deep conditioner But as a, like a normal conditioner and what I love about it the most is the smell. Oh my at first when I Did this I was like this smells like cleaning products <laughs> But okay, so <sorry>, though. <laughs> But like, and you know, cleaning products is just chemicals. You're just like, I don't want to put this on my hair. But like, it's actually nice. It because it's got yogurt, coconut, rosemary oil, and honey. It smells. That's a gorgeous combination, right? It's nice and creamy. And like, even if it's on my hands, I don't feel like sticky or nothing. And not and nothing. I'm handled, but it's oh, mm, it smells so gorgeous. And like. Once I've come out of the shower I, my, I can, and I don't put any product in my hair, I will still smell it for like ages, hours, hours, maybe days. It feels so good in my hair. It, it gives my hair so much slip and it really it really goes well with the Afrocentrics. I know it's not really that good to mix product lines and different brands, but I love it. I do it. I still do it. I'm, I'm, I'm naughty like that. Okay. Now it's, now it's on to some real talks. This is why I wanted to do it all in one video, okay? Your girl. Cherise, me, yeah. I have had the privilege of featuring in a magazine. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, in a magazine, okay. But keep watching, keep listening. Don't just be jealous and hit and lock off, okay? <laughs> because when they approached me, okay, when I got the email and they was like, "Oh, I want to feature you," um, they they showed me the actual picture that they wanted to put in. It was a picture from my Instagram. And you know, the woman I was liaising with, she's really nice. Let me know that it was gonna come out in the August edition, August issue of their magazine. I was excited. I was like, yeah, I signed the forms, I sent it back. We did make it to the final edit, and I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and then they sent me um, a PDF version of the page that I'm on. And let's just say that was the end of my rejoicing, okay? Let's just say that was the end. I'll show you the clip. Yes. Does that look like me? Does that look like me? Yes, they edited my picture. Not, okay, it was edited before, that's the thing, like, I didn't even know it could get edited that much more, okay? This is the, um, hard copy edition that they sent me, and it's actually a really good magazine, they're good, like, I don't know, but then I look at all the pictures, and then I'm like, oh, and then I'm thinking, well, do these women look like that in real life? This is the, this cover, this, Janelle Monae's on the cover. I want to know how much they did to her, you know. And then this is my page. <sighs> For real. I'll show you the actual picture. I mean, it's me. That's the picture. Okay, that's my parents. <laughs> that's the picture. The real one. And this is not the real one. This is the edited, extra edited one. This is my first time being featured. I feel blessed. I feel happy. 
it's all part of reaching and that's what I want with all my heart that's what I want to help and to do the most to just advocate natural hair and women's empowerment and make and loving yourself this hurt me okay this hurt me and it was at the time it came it released it was <laughs> it was released at the time when the the lady that got a bit in her feelings and decided to talk about colorism but she's talking she spoke about it in a bit of a way <laughs> well i mean each to their own for real for real because i don't know each to their own that i'll put the picture in there somewhere or maybe not you know what i'm talking about though it's the one where she she decided to talk about colorism and textual discrimination in the natural hair community and how brands are just taking light-skinned women with looser curled hair textures to be the face of their brand to advocate natural hair and put in all kinkier textured darker skinned women on the back burner oh well actually not even that not that's not even that true if you are the darker you are the more exotic the more mysterious and all lovely you know it is so and rare you are so they want to put you out there in the limelight um but if you're in the middle if you're if you're like <laughs> my complexion <laughs> then you ain't <laughs> then you're just black and we don't really like you <laughs> oh my days i felt like i felt it okay for the first time on this journey i felt it i felt i felt discriminated against because of my color like i'm not, i didn't even think i was that dark that's the thing like i don't even know i don't even know i don't even know what what the need was to bleach me Is, am i supposed to be light skinned is that what you say like i'm supposed to be light skinned I can only be accepted I can only go so far as a vlogger I can only go so far with my brand but because I'm not light-skinned because I'm not fit my, my skin's not of a fairer complexion and I might as well just forget it like these things will just come into my head especially at the time when everybody was just you know and it was so funny obviously it came at this it was at the same time and that's why i haven't said anything about it since until now for me to show this like i wasn't proud that's why i said at the beginning when i was like yeah i'm in a magazine just don't don't be hold your horses on the jealousy hold your horses on clicking off the video because oh you know i mean <laughs> this didn't feel like an achievement it didn't it didn't that the, the, this this isn't me you know i look at her and sharice didn't make it to the final audition like that was a lie i didn't make it i don't know i don't know it just made me feel sad in my heart <laughs> it just made me feel a bit down it just made me feel as though what am I doing? Or like, I can try, but I can still advocate natural hair, but offline. In my own little small sphere of people that I come into contact with. But if you're talking about reaching millions of women, if you're talking about like gaining crazy followers, don't just forget it. Like, cause you're not light skinned. You're not, you're not mixed. Your hair texture ain't loose and you're pretty you're very pretty but it's just your color it's just your color sharice your color's not the, the hue the the, mel the melanin's a bit too much the pigmentation it's just a bit needs to be washed out a bit more need to be a bit lighter <laughs> you do not it's just like I've never heard that ever in my life. I've never been I've never been told that before. I've never had that in my life. And it just hurt. Because I 
because obviously I am pushing for this. I love editing videos. I love creating content, online content. I love the photos. I love the Instagram. I love the, I love the scene. I love this community. I love this platform. But it's like, there are times when it's just like, you're not going to really make it that far. You know that you're not going to make it that far. And then things like this happen. It's just even more yeah, of a sign to say it's not gonna happen like if my own thoughts weren't enough to tell me to just stop and give up you know things like this happen and it just makes you feel even worse but anyways we live and we learn and we love and we we, we, we say god bless these people because <laughs> um we just hope things will change the future no we hope things change in the future we all keep pushing i don't know I don't know but color discrimination color colorism and texture discrimination in the natural hair community is evident if you didn't think so um it may not happen to you we pray that it doesn't ever happen to you but it's there and the situation has to change it will change one day i believe so so let's just say positive okay so i know you've seen and you can tell that I'm no longer consistent as I used to be with um, my videos, my uploads and everything. Um, I don't actually plan on leaving YouTube for good, but I am, I am. <laughs> but I don't know when the next video will be. Did you get my drip? Let me just be all the way real, I need money, okay? I need money okay <laughs> I need some money so basically okay the story goes if I can't really sure I got kicked out of uni because didn't get the grades to go into third year um, came home now which was uh, it wasn't supposed to go I wasn't supposed to go that was never part of the plan it didn't phase me because I was still productive with YouTube I still had um, it wasn't the, I didn't see it as the end of everything okay I wasn't gonna graduate okay I wasn't gonna get a degree okay I wasted two years and I have debt that I need to pay off but you know it wasn't it wasn't the end of the world for me I saw YouTubers thought you guys watching me you know giving me some love and you know and I saw a purpose I still was doing what I needed to do so I was just focused on that the more and more I gave the more and more I received the more and more I felt like this was exactly where I needed to be, what I needed to do, what I needed to focus my attention on. But what came up, of course, was money. I needed money to invest in YouTube, needed money to um, go to the events, to experience more, to meet up with my audience, with you. So I'm not, not, not just every day, you know, be on the camera, um, but see you guys and interact with you in, in real life and stuff. and. Um, different different things <laughs> I needed money okay so I got a job it was even hard for me to get a new job not even gonna lie about that I got rejected after like applications just I, I had no interviews zero I don't know what was wrong with my CV don't know what, my, what was wrong with my applications but um, I didn't get one but eventually I got an interview the first interview that I had was the job that I got because I had experienced waitressing um, in the hospitality um, industry that's where I went for because at that time the whole rejection thing <laughs> I had reject got rejected from uni yeah. I just didn't believe that I could get any kind of better job than what I had already been doing I had lots of experience in that field so it made more sense to go down that field it made it was a surefire way to get money like it was guaranteed that I was gonna get a job and I got actually a job at quite a prestigious like dessert parlor and I felt like it wasn't gonna be too much stressful it wasn't gonna be it wasn't gonna drain my energy um I would always have time to come back um to come back home even after a shift or anything because that was my main worry that I would be too involved in work and I wouldn't be able to do YouTube and the whole point was for me to earn money put in YouTube earn money put in YouTube that was literally what I was doing and that's what I was doing for mo for a main for most of the time until a point where it got I was doing like six days a week night shifts like on that seventh day of no work of when I was off I was only off for religious reasons so that and I was able to go to, to church and obviously if I'm at church and at my church I'm there the whole day because I haven't been able to be at church 
during the week and well i was at church during the week but like not as much as i wanted to be i was i wasn't as consistent as i wanted to be with youtube either so it was just a lose-lose situation or becoming so then <laughs> then around april times uh sales went down in the shop um they started cutting people's hours but i still wasn't really affected by it praise jesus <laughs> because what <laughs> what I, I was still getting enough to pay all my bills to still put into youtube put into my event traveling all the other things that i was doing building my website i was able to still put money in. a couple months ago that was just not then you know i wasn't the i wasn't the only one that wasn't affected by by the the lack of sales and the and the lack of hours i didn't become zero hour contract but it was like i became zero hour contract so basically obviously that means i don't i'm not guaranteed hours i'm not guaranteed um 35 hours a week at all <laughs> i am just here and there call me up and i have to, and if there's a shift there's a shift obviously that <laughs> whoa that kind of income who can live off that i want to know <laughs> i don't i want to know who who can live off that kind of income because i couldn't all right i was living at home privileged enough to live at home not having to pay rent not having to pay light bills not having to pay mortgage or anything um uh, but that was what i wanted to do i wanted to be able to take on my parents mortgage soon but it didn't happen anyways what i'm trying to say is that i need money okay now, now you understand why I need money and the whole plan just backfired on me okay which is what I'm trying to say um I wanted I just went for the job for the money it was I've only I've not even been in it for a year I've been on YouTube for three years it hasn't felt that long at all it hasn't felt that long I've it's been the best experience of my life it's 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 ah it's grown me so much I've met so many beautiful, beautiful women, um, people, genuinely night like oh, genuinely beautiful souls. I've met. I have collaborated with good brands. I've had. I've collaborated with bad brands. <laughs> I've I've done some good stuff, you know, with this. And obviously, for the life of me, I don't want to give it up for anything but um yeah so so that so i wasn't about to give it up and i didn't care that i wasn't in a great job it wasn't what i wanted to do obviously what i wanted to do was to focus on the brand until it made enough until it was doing well enough for me to live off it but um it, yeah the plan really backfired on me because the money that I was earning even though I didn't want to be in that job and even though I was just doing it for the money there came a point when there weren't money <laughs> so um, there weren't a job for me it wasn't secure and there was no money and there was debt <laughs> so now I'm on the hunt for a better job not a job that I don't care about so that I can have money but a job that I can um, that I can actually excel in because I was I was obviously I had to give my best I do love customer service obviously I'm doing lovers in here like I love making people smile and smiling and making feel people have a really good you know experience when you come out you want to eat you know you don't want to be spending your money on people that's just gonna you know screw <laughs> to screw you you know contaminate your food with their bad vibes you don't want that <laughs> you want to just you know you have value for your money and i love giving that but obviously there's only so much you can take because i don't i love this this is my main passion and i can't have my cake and eat it too and this summer has been so great because i haven't been working a lot I've been able to do more like I'm in charge of teens ministries at my church and I've been able to give a lot more to them than I would have if I was working so it's it's a it's been really good but now it's come to a point where I don't want to be worried about money at all at all like I don't want it to be a concern I don't want to be like because even I you know we were able to have fun but to god had to provide for those activities i don't know where i got the money for those activities for real for real but um 
yeah do you get what i mean those kind of things i don't want to be like oh smooth yeah counting pennies i don't i don't i don't want that stress you know it's not the way it's not the way to live <laughs> that's not yeah i don't i don't want that stress and in order to uh catch this obviously there's no kind of good job that i'm gonna go into that's guaranteed even youtube is not never guaranteed but at least i love it you get what i mean but huh, gonna go and find a, a job that you know that can sustain me and i'm gonna focus on it i'm gonna do well in it i'm gonna give my best i'm not going into waitressing and it has hospitality anymore and i just wanted to let you all know because I, it may seem as though I'm gone. Where's she gone? Why is she gone? No, oh, okay, just another YouTuber that well, says that she's gonna be consistent, says that she wants to be on here, says that this, that says that, another one gone. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it, that's, that's, I mean, that's unfortunately, that's how life is sometimes. It's unexpected. There's so many different things. I'm still young. The world is literally my oyster. I'm single. I don't have anybody that I need to answer to. <laughs> I can just go seek out different opportunities, do better, be better, keep improving, and make money at the same time. Yeah, and that's what I plan to do. Yay! So, what's next for me? And obviously, you're gonna see me at events, you're gonna see me doing you're gonna see me being me i get more uh, freedom to to do what i love doing which is helping others to be more church more to give more in my ministry as a single woman you know actually establish one because i don't think i really have a strong ministry <laughs> but you know i can do the most you know and that's what i'm looking forward to doing i'm excited about and yeah just continue to pray for me and <laughs> everything's gonna be all right i'm still gonna be here if you have any questions if you have any video requests here and there you might i'll still like do videos here and there but i won't be consistent i'm not gonna be so on it i'm inactive on instagram at the moment i know that's a bit whoa well, what you're doing <laughs> but i mean you gotta do what you gotta do um, yeah youtube isn't the only reason why i need money like i um i'm single i don't want to be single forever i do want to be married and uh, how can i be married uh, what am i bringing to the table like what uh <laughs> and to be in a relationship you need money so you need to be married you need to get married you need money to be married to stay married you need money so so i know this is a long one but yeah i love sharing you know because you never know who's going through what you're going through or you never get, there's always somebody that's going through a worse of situation that's the way I, I look at it and from and i should never feel ashamed of talking about problems that i'm facing um you know a lot of people say oh don't talk about your problems until you've over overcome them <laughs> why i know i'm gonna overcome them like it's not it's not an issue the, the fact that i'm still breathing and living and i'm here i'm gonna overcome my problems like problems come and go that's the thing problems come and they go do you get what i mean I, if i if oh no oh no i'm not overcome that's problems so i can't talk i can't be myself i have to no like i'm not gonna pretend me telling you that i need money is it gonna get me money do you get what i mean or is it is it gonna stop me from getting money no it's not gonna stop if anything it's gonna i've said it so I, I need to make sure that i get money do you get what i mean <laughs> so you know yeah you need to be intelligent and you know the intelligent thing would be to change the situation right now make a total 180 on that i'll always love y'all i'll always always okay i'll always love you so much thank you so much for watching and for subscribing and sharing my videos continue enjoying your healthy natural hair journey educate yourself and educate others bye